Welcome to the world of Tohu. We're here today to take a closer look at the game and to provide a sneak peek at some of the weird and wonderful characters, puzzles and adventures that wait within. In Tohu, you play as a young, unassuming heroine known as the girl, as she embarks on an extraordinary journey to save her unusual home from certain doom. The game takes place across a fantastical other world, one that is formed by a network of small, living and breathing fish planets. After the arrival of a strange, shadowy creature, the sacred engine that is key to this fishy world is broken, putting all life on the planets under threat. On her journey, the girl will encounter all manner of eccentric characters and visit many bizarre and wonderful locations. But there will also be unusual scenarios and other inconvenient situations that will prevent her progress. It's up to you as the player to guide the girl and help solve all kinds of intriguing conundrums and challenging puzzles. Fortunately, the girl is accompanied by her mechanical alter ego, Cubis, and you can swap between them both at any time to use their unique abilities and try different approaches to puzzles. <coughs> There are many different kinds of puzzles you'll encounter throughout Tohu, and we'd like to show you an early look at one of them right now. This scenario takes place early in the game, as the girl travels to find her friend and one-time carer, Junkle. However, as she arrives at his home on the Junkfish planet, she finds that the front door has been shut by something called a mole lock. Let's take a look around this area outside of Junkle's house and see if we can find a way to unlock it. So to begin, you can see we have these strange firefly-like creatures that whoosh around the area when you interact with them. We also have this peculiar looking object over here, which appears to be a lamp of some kind, as well as a small glass pot, which is too heavy for the girl to lift on her own. And then down here, we have what appears to be a gumball machine filled with moles, by the looks of things. And as you pull the lever, it fires moles out. But we can't really see what's going on right now. Let's do something about those bushes first. By swapping to Cubis, we can pick up the glass pot. And then by interacting with the fireflies and standing in the right place, Cubis can catch the fireflies and place them in the pot. It looks like we need all five of them in total. And by moving across the environment, we can put Cubis in the correct position to catch the rest of them. Okay, that's all of the fireflies. Let's attach this to that lamp and see what happens. There we go. That's made things a little bit more visible for us. Let's go and check out that mole gumball thing again. Now we pull the lever. We can see exactly what kind of mole is coming out. But in order to get a mole to stay in a hole, we need to select the right one, with the right colour and facial features. Junkle must have set up this elaborate puzzle in case he ever got locked out. Did he place these signs here? They show exactly what type of mole we need to fire out of the machine. So, to begin with, we need a blue mole that's a little bit on the, um, wider side. That's done it. So now we need two blue moles with three eyes each. That's one done. Now let's launch another. OK, so that's all the blue moles done. So let's move on to the red moles by pushing the button to the left. Looks like we need two wide red moles.
And now we have three holes remaining, which look like they belong to a mole with some kind of moustache. Let's hit the moustache button and see what happens. There we go. That is definitely a mole with a moustache. And now we have another, with an even more impressive moustache. And finally, the last mole. That's quite a charismatic group of moles, don't you think? Now that we've filled in all the holes with all of these moles, we've unlocked another machine over here, which has a rather suspicious looking hook attached to it. Maybe it's used for chucking moles around. Let's investigate. We now have one last piece of the puzzle to solve, which involves connecting these vines together to create a closed circuit. But we think it will be more fun for you to solve that one by yourself. So let's skip ahead. With the circuit complete, the machine is now working. And we've successfully unlocked the door by launching a mole at the target. So that's the puzzle complete. Sorry, Junkle, but your mole lock is no match for our puzzle solving. Thanks for watching our walkthrough. This has been just one of the many intriguing puzzle scenarios you'll find throughout Tohu, and we hope you'll join the girl on the rest of her adventure when Tohu launches later this year on Nintendo Switch. Huh? I